This is by far the best Google map scraper or business data scraper I've ever used. And I've used many. I've championed out scraper. Used to use that a lot. Got it on AppSumo. So I got a nice deal. And that was awesome for what it could do. It could scrape data that I hadn't seen in other web scraping APIs or tools. But this one beats everyone that I've used. This is not a sponsored ad. In fact, most people do not know about this. This is the GitHub repository and it doesn't have much going on at all. It's not very well known. It was shared in a group. I went to check it out and I saw it had a Mac version and Windows version and I was sold. I tried it out and I was sold. So I paid the $28 one-time fee. It's such a random, random cost, but it was a one-time fee and that was that. So as I said, I've used Outscraper. I've spent a ridiculous amount of money on the Google Maps API. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. So the free version, up to 20 searches a month, which is not, not very, um, it's not the, not the best, but up to 120 results per search query extract 40 plus real-time data points, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. And then you can extract a CSV, JSON or Excel. I just use CSV because that's what I upload onto Smart Directory Pro and, um, and that's that. So awesome, awesome, awesome tool. I'm gonna to show you now. If you want to buy and pay that one-time fee, you get unlimited searches for lifetime. So again, in comparison to something like Outscraper where you're using credits, or any of those scraping tools, you're spending a lot of money over time. This one, I've paid the fee, and if I go over to output, you can see, when did I get it? The 19th of June. Can I, is that as far back as it goes? I think, yeah, okay, the 7th of June. Uh, and I started scraping immediately, and you can see the number of results. So the biggest scrape I did, well, I saw one with like 542, 400 and, 18 um i'm sure there's more 432 okay this one 1851 results and that took 18 minutes but it's running on your desktop it's on it's running in the background and yeah that one okay 22,000, and then it failed so that was running for six hours before it gave up i think it would have failed a long long before then but in any case, that was SEO agencies. So I'm using this for directory sites, but as you can see, if you're scraping business data for outreach, it does all of that. It also, within the same $28 one-time fee, uh, web website contact scraper. I've never used it. That's not what I got it for, but I'm pretty sure if I need to do anything in that realm, I can do that. So what I found was that this is a GitHub repository, so you can um, clone the repository and then just use it on your desktop or however else you, you use it. I didn't need to do this. I didn't need to use the code, although I probably could have found a way to build it into something else, but it's using Python to scrape. So because it had the app, I didn't need to do anything else. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. If you wanna check out the repository and all the screenshots and what you can actually do, then go and check out the link in the description. But again, if you wanna just use it on your desktop, whether Windows or Mac, you can download the desktop app. So I'm gonna do a quick run through, but I'm gonna use what I've already got from outputs and upload it just so you can see all of the data that you get. So you can add multiple fields like this, or you can just go to bulk edit and then have a list of search terms that you want to search just as you would in Outscraper. So I'm actually gonna use chat GPT because I've done this already. It's, um... In fact, what I'm gonna do is I've got this blank install it's got the subcategories, the preset categories. So let me grab, let me get these categories. I know I'm doing this in probably the worst way ever, but let's just, let's just go with it. Let's take all of these and let's say clean this up. 
Um, do we need comma separated? One per line. Append with in Milton Keynes UK uh, example barber shops in Milton Keynes. Do I need a comma? Probably should. Milton Keynes UK. No gap. Um, I think it's still going to give me a, a gap. Let's just see what it returns. So I just want a list. It doesn't have to be comma separated. I'm just going to copy and paste that into the scraper. Go over there. Yeah, I'm just going to copy and paste it into the scraper like this. So web developers in Bangalore is their, their example. But you can also return a, a JSON array, comma separated or new line separated, which is what I'm about to do now. So waiting for ChatGPT to give me that response. There are many, many ways of doing something like that. You don't have to do this way. There are so many other ways, but because I already have these categories, it makes a lot of sense. So if you're starting a directory site, what I'll probably do for Smart Directory Pro customers is Put this list make this list um just easy to copy and paste and then append so this is exactly what i want it's going to take a long time to return these results i don't actually want web design those are uh, online is there any other online things i don't need to add business consulting these are online businesses i really want just local businesses so may remove just run through that quickly. So, car wash, barbershop, uh, spas, schools, tutoring services that can be physical, doctors. Yeah, it's only business consulting that needs to come off of the list. Insurance services. Mm, I mean, mm, they're just going to be SEO businesses, aren't they? legal services you do you do have high street but still i'll remove it it's going to be online stuff marketing advertising seo people it services no because you can have repair shops okay so 55 items i'm going to add those to the list so we've got them all there singular and now we can go through and see all the customizations we can make beforehand so i don't need to select country because i've i've got it here in plain text business type i can ignore this maximum city to extract i can ignore all of that email and social extraction now i had some issues with this before you have to get the api key i did reach out to them and they said it would be updated on the 28th of june months ago so let me just see uh, let's see if that's now something we can do. Steps for email and social extraction. Okay, so that's now a thing. Let me let me do this. Because if we can grab the social, the Facebook, Twitter, etc. These are fields on Smart Directory Pro business listings. So that would be really good. Okay, signing in with Google. Okay. Wow, they've um, they've got a lot going on now. Um, I'll have to come back and check some of this scraping goodness out. But for now, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it simple. Okay, that's good. So this wasn't working before. Before they were trying to send you to Rapid API and then it was inactive. So they've sorted it out. You just have to sign up on omcar.cloud and get an API key. Uh, I can't see any additional pricing associated with that. So I've just regenerated my key. I'm gonna paste that in. So in this tab, I won't click on it. I've got my API key in there. Email and social links extraction. So I should get their social media accounts in my scrape if they have them. So again, I'm used to using other tools that charge per uh, enrichment. So if I were to add this in Outscraper, it's going to cost something like 
0 0.05 or 0 0.00. I'm not sure what the what it was, but it will cost something per business if I want to scrape emails and social links and all of that stuff. So this is actually beyond creating directory sites, but the more data you can scrape for, for businesses, the better, because you can decide what you want to do with that after. So yeah, reviews extraction, this is my favorite part. So typically even on the Google Maps or Google Places API, it only lets you scrape a maximum of five results, five reviews, which is insane. This one, you tell it a max or you leave it so it can scrape as many as possible. So leave it empty, it will extract all reviews. Of course, the number of businesses you're scraping matters. It's gonna take a lot longer to extract that business data and the review data, but within this scrape, it's going to do all of that. So I'm not coming back, I'm not paying anything additional. And that's very important because we import the reviews into the directory site. So very important. It scrapes the review and the owner response, everything. So the name of the reviewee, the owner response, and then when imported, it just says this is a Google review and that differentiates it from the reviews that people can leave when they come on the site. So love that. Sort reviews by newest, I guess newest makes the most sense search in reviews you can filter things in the reviews so in the other screen i'll show you you can you can filter it if you don't want to show negative reviews or if you only want to show negative reviews um or show a maximum of or a minimum of three to five stars things like that you can filter for uh, but you can also search for specific keywords in reviews which is just insane uh language and max results we don't need to change anything there geolocation we don't need to change anything there caching not sure what it does what it doesn't do so it's selected and i leave it i'm just gonna hit run so now that's in progress i was going to go to a previous scrape and just import that but i'm happy to wait and come back because it's only going to be a millisecond for you guys so and we are 12 minutes in so in 12 minutes almost 30 minutes it's scraped one two three four five six of the queries and you can see the counts for each so 95 auto parts and 105 auto repair car dealership so on and so forth and then in all tasks of course you've got everything so the accumulation of all of the business types that it's scraping so we can actually go in and do these one by one because there's going to be thousands at the end of this scrape i wouldn't want to import that csv with thousands of businesses it's going to take forever so i would more than likely go in and do each at a time which kind of makes more sense because they're organized i know what's going on with, with each of them so i'll do that now so we can go into it and this is the overview tab if we click on all fields you can see 40 plus tabs this is in json but we can import that just fine uh, i'll start over here we've got the place id which is important because that's how we match up the google reviews and the name of the business the description it's never that good i don't know why businesses don't really go go deep with their business descriptions but you know more more seo goodness for us and then other fields so the number of reviews of course this shows up on the business card the average rating competitors i've not quite figured out how to use this data because i would have to get it to on import connect to the business so as you can see you've got it here so their competitors right below them they are also their competitors competitor yeah so these all their competitors they're just related businesses so something i have to do in the back end because we do have a related businesses section so i just have to connect that up so it can actually show the competitors as related businesses or not doesn't really matter they're all being imported anyway the website the phone emails and yes we've got the twitter the facebook the youtube the instagram not really much for pinterest or github some have snapchat we've got tiktok we've got the owner id uh, featured image which we import categories categories can vary but we have ai categorization in any case uh work 
worked work day timing okay opening hours maybe um is closed permanently closed temporarily closed closes on full address review keyword this might be useful okay review keywords okay common keywords in reviews i could just add like a cloud nothing that really adds value if i'm honest but it is something um you just have to figure out well personally for building smart directory pro i've had to figure out the best ways to use this data beyond just the basic displaying the business so what i've done is all of these fields concatenate in the same way that i used to do it in the sheet so in my ai powered google sheet i would concatenate all of this data and then tell the ai to write a description based on that concatenated data. So if I'm lucky, it already has a basic description and then I'm taking the opening hours and then the review data to get a more unique description of the business. And then it will just kind of write it based on that. Um, latitude, longitude, that's for the maps and the street view and all of that stuff. So really good data. And if we go over to, you've got featured reviews, detailed reviews, that's everything. So this is the CSV that you get when it scrapes the reviews. We've got the rating, the reviewer, reviewer ID, the name, uh, the link that you can send them over straight to the Google page, name of the business, but we do match it by place ID in any case. And then the review text, which is the actual text, what they've said, great service, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sometimes they don't have text, so it's just the rating, but it will still show up. And then what I love is the response. So on Smart Directory Pro, it says, although the owners clearly just copied and pasted the same response for the negative reviews, uh, it shows a uh, response from owner and then it has the response. So, um, And then the times, the dates are accurate. So yeah. That's important because again, most scraping tools don't do that. They don't give you all of this information, let alone in that one time fee. So love that. What I'm gonna do now is download the CSV for the review, for all of the reviews. And then I'm gonna download all fields. You don't wanna do the overview. The overview only has about 20 columns, I think. So we want all fields, the more data, the better. Download CSV, and both of those are saved to our folder. 